Hey there guys, Buddy here. So let's quickly touch on gold mining in South Africa. So gold mining in South Africa is going to be mainly concentrated in the Witwatersrand Basin, which is obviously going to be located in Gauteng, and that can extend into parts of the Free State and Mpumalanga. So what are some factors that are going to favor gold mining in South Africa? So that basically means what are some factors that are going to make gold mining easier in South Africa. Firstly, we have rich gold deposits. So South Africa has some of the largest and richest gold reserves in the world, especially in the Witwatersrand Basin, making mining highly profitable. Now the Witwatersrand Basin is going to contain a large amount of gold, right? And all this gold is going to be located close together. So that means that when these mining companies are going to be extracting this gold, they can extract it in a large amount because they're located so close together. And that's what's going to make uh, gold mining South Africa much more profitable than many other countries. Secondly, we can have your skilled labor. So South Africa has a long history of mining, which means there's a large pool of skilled and experienced workers, engineers and geologists. Now we know mining has been around for over a century, right? So that means that there's going to be a lot of people trained in operating these mines. Thirdly, you have your advanced mining technology. So South Africa has developed world-class deep level mining technology, allowing gold to be extracted from very deep underground. So the gold in South Africa is going to be located very deep underground. So these complex machines are going to make it a lot easier in order to reach that gold. We then have your well-developed infrastructure. So good roads, electricity supply, rail networks and processing plants support efficient mining operations. Strong mining expertise. Mining companies in South Africa have decades of experience and strong research, management and exploration skills. Now because these companies have been around for so long and they have so much of experience, they know exactly how to manage risks and how to run the mine efficiently, which is obviously going to attract investors and bring in more money we then have the availability of capital. So large mining corporations and investors provide financial resources needed for deep level mining, which is very expensive. Now deep level mining is very expensive, right? And that's because it's going to require safety measures. It needs these complex equipment and you need your constant maintenance, which is all going to cost a lot of money. And lastly, we have your support industries. There are many related industries nearby, such as engineering, metal fabrication, transport and chemical supply, which help keep mining running smoothly. So let's take a look at some factors that are going to hinder gold mining in South Africa. Firstly, you're going to have your depth of the mines. So many gold mines are extremely deep, right? Some of them are over three to four kilometers underground. Can you just think about how crazy that is? And because these gold mines are going to go so deep, it's going to make extraction very difficult. It's going to make it dangerous and expensive. You're going to need to have your support structures. You're going to need to have your ventilation. And as we know, the deeper the mine, the more risks there are for the workers, right? And obviously the higher the costs. Secondly, we have your high production costs. So deep level mining requires advanced technology, ventilation and safety measures increasing your operational costs. So that point is pretty straightforward. Thirdly, we have your labor issues. So strikes, labor disputes and shortages of skilled workers can disrupt uh, production. Now I do have a video out on uh, mine strikes and you can easily find that in the economic geography uh, playlist. Mining is physically demanding, which affects workforce availability. Now just think about how hard it's going to be working underground, right? It's going to be tough. It's going to be dangerous. So many workers do not stay there for very long, right? So these companies struggle to retain workers. We have your safety and health risks. So deep mining increases risks of rock falls, seismic events, and heat stress. And that's because the deeper the mine, the hotter it becomes. Occupational diseases like silicosis and other respiratory problems are common. Now there's going to be a lot of dust in these mines, right? And if you're going to be exposed to these harmful particles, that's going to damage your lungs, especially long term. We have your declining ore grades. So older mines are seeing lower concentrations of gold 
meaning more rock must be mined for the same output. And that's all going to increase costs. We have your water and energy shortages. Mines rely heavily on water and electricity and shortages can slow down operations. Remember in gold mining, uh, water is going to be used for processing and your electricity is going to be used to power your machines, right? And if there's going to be a shortage of any of these, that's going to delay production. We have your environmental regulations. So strict environmental laws increase costs for waste management, water treatment and land rehabilitation. We have your global market fluctuations. So gold prices can be volatile, affecting profitability and investment decisions. So now when your gold prices drop, that means that your mines are going to earn a lot less money. And lastly, we have your legacy issues. So some mines are old and infrastructure is aging, requiring costly upgrades. So now we have the contribution of gold mining to the South African economy. Firstly, it will contribute to the GDP. So gold mining contributes significantly to South Africa's gross domestic product, although its share has declined over the years compared to other sectors. Now, even though the gold share of GDP has declined, it's still a very important part of the South African economy. So obviously your gold mining is going to earn foreign exchange. So South Africa is a major exporter of gold, earning valuable foreign currency, which supports the balance of payments. So when we sell gold to other countries, it brings in a lot of foreign money. And this is going to help to pay for imports and it's going to strengthen our national economy. We then have job creation. So gold mining is going to provide direct employment for miners, engineers and technicians. Gold mining is going to support indirect employment in supply chains, transport and services. So there's going to be jobs like trucking, you know, equipment maintenance, engineering, things like that. There's going to be the development of infrastructure. So mining regions have roads, railways, electricity and water networks built to support operations, benefiting local communities. Industrial development that's going to support related industries such as engineering, chemicals and finance. Because at the end of the day, mining is going to create demand for engineering services. We have your investment attraction. So gold mining is going to attract local and foreign investment, including large mining companies and exploration projects. So gold mining is going to be very profitable, right? So investors are going to continuously try to put money into new mines and equipment, which will then obviously help grow our economy. And lastly, we have your contribution to local economies. So mining towns like these owe much of their growth to gold mining activities. So here's just a simple table that's going to discuss the contribution of mining to the South African economy. Now, this is just mining in general, not um, gold mining specifically. And this table is going to feature the significance of mining to the development of South Africa. So you're welcome to take your time to read it. I'm just going to head out. Thank you so much for watching. Many blessings and much love to all of you. Goodbye.